And hi there, this is Kerry Decker with another exciting edition of Kerry's Kitchen. And this time we're going to be making inside out hamburgers. All right, as I said uh, in my previous shows, that uh, the, the premise of this program is to make you look like a hero. I always think that a man should be able to make at least one meal or one special dish that he can impress his girlfriend, his wife, his companion, or anyone, and yet you don't have to work too hard to do it. And we're going to do it in less than 10 minutes. So, uh, and I want to thank everybody, by the way, for all the, uh, the emails and uh, <laughs> notes that I've been getting uh, in regards to these shows. It's fun. I'm not really a chef or a cook or anything, but I like to make simple, healthy meals that uh, we can all enjoy. Now, speaking of that... I want to show you something before we start on tonight's meal. This is something which I had to bring home with me to show you. Now check this out. This is like your hamburger. All right, look at this. Oh, oh, there's a lot of faux pas here. A lot of mistakes. Um, look at this. Oh, first of all, there's just a big gob of ketchup on it, and it's on a foam plate. Okay, not very impressive. We're always going to use real plates on this show. Somebody just squirted some ketchup on it and like slapped it on there, and there you go. And what? Is it a roll? No, it's bread. It's bread. Okay, guys, you know, when we're home alone, sometimes you want to cook up a quick burger. Maybe bread is okay, but not here on Carrie's Kitchen. No, this is not good. So, you know, the foam plate, you know, it's even got a chunk out of it. Uh, and everything and slapped on a couple pieces of bread and just ketchup. You know, this is not even good for the kids. Maybe the dog, but not the kids. So anyway, we're going to avoid this tonight and we're going to make what's called an inside out hamburger and I'm going to show you how. Okay, here we go. And this is how we're going to make Carrie's Kitchen special inside out hamburger. All right, very, very simple. Of course, I've got the George Foreman grill right here, which I always use. I don't like the pan fly because it keeps all the grease and oils inside, which of course is not healthy and going to clog up your heart. So we always use one of these. I have got some market ground beef right here. All right, this is what we're going to use to make the burger. I've also uh, chopped up a little bit of onion. We've got some uh, cheese. We have some steak sauce, some rolls and everything. We are ready to go. So what we're going to do and what's going to make this different and why we call an inside out burger unlike that horrible thing that we just saw this is where the ingredients are going to be on the inside of the burger so you don't have stuff falling all over the place out of the back of the burger onto your lap on your clothes or whatever it's going to be a very neat and clean burger and yet it's unique so if you do want to put some ketchup which by the way I don't recommend we're going to use steak sauce remember it is after all some ground beef so we we'll always use steak sauce on your hamburgers okay now What's going to be, uh, what we're going to do here is I've got a little bit, I use a little bit of spray right on the George Foreman grill. Even though I know it's the Teflon and everything, it always helps to use some spray. Now, what we're going to do, and I've seen it done different ways, you know, this is not a, a uh, Carrie's Kitchen exclusive, but um, all right, we're going to plug this in, we're going to get it heated up is now some people have balled it up made it almost like a meatball and everything else now we're going to use two flat burgers all right and we're going to cook them together which is unique for of course the george foreman grill so i am making these two two burgers right here and what we're going to do is we're going to lay one on the george foreman grill first put the ingredients on it and then we're going to take the second burger put it on top of the first and meld it into one solid burger with the ingredients on the inside and that's what makes it different okay all right i think i've got my first patty ready to go don't make these extra thick because you know we're going to put two of them okay so here we go let's put the first one on and let's get started making our special inside out hamburger Alrighty, we got that first burger on there looking good. Alright, I have previously chopped up a little bit of onion. Yes, that's right. I took a real onion and chopped it up just a little bit. Hey, I've got a secret for you guys out there. You don't want to sit there and be like, you know, crying while you're cutting onions and everything. Take a bowl of water and cut your onion underneath the water and you won't have any tears. You know, you won't look like a wimpy guy. Alrighty. Alright, here goes our onion on here alrighty and the next thing here is I've got a, a piece of cheese that we need to cut over here alright I've just got a regular piece of uh, sliced cheese here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it into small strips one by one here just about a quarter of an inch apart hey guys I like to cut the cheese in the kitchen don't you here we go 
right, and cross cut it in the other direction. All right, cross cutting it like that. Boy, we got a lot here. Okay, it's good. Makes it also <laughs> makes it a little bit hard being left-handed here. Anyway, now we've got a lot of cheese that we can sprinkle on there. All righty, we're gonna put that right on top of the burger. Now, if you have some mushrooms or something like that, um, this would be a good time. That'd be good. You can put them on there as well. That always makes it nice. All right, now we're packing up the burger there. Time to get the second piece of meat ready. This is starting to sizzle. All righty, here we go. And, all right, we're going to take that second piece, and we're going to put it directly over top of the first one. All right, keeping the ingredients all inside. And what's going to be nice about the George Foreman grill is that the grill itself will press the pieces of meat together and seal them together like that. Now there was a sandwich maker that was out a few years ago that was very similar. Good idea. You can press them together like that as well. But anyway, now we're cooking. And as you know, the George Foreman grill, you can cook both sides at once. So it doesn't take long, maybe only five minutes or so, and we've got ourselves a great inside-out hamburger. Now, I always recommend cook them out on the grill. Cook them in the George Foreman grill. Do not cook hamburgers in a pan because the grease just sits there and it winds up uh, inside of your body after you've eaten it. So that is no good. But anyway, it's very simple like that. Now people's going to ask you, they're going to say, hey, you know, there's going to be no ingredients out there or anything. But uh, not a problem. Uh, like I said, uh, all the ingredients are already cooked inside the hamburger. And so... Um, you can make uh, some great looking burgers like that and uh, nothing at all and it's different and that's what's great about Carrie's Kitchen is that these are not complicated things to do but you'll always look like a winner when you make something different like this okay I can hear that thing sizzling I think we're about ready to go let's check it out okay let's take a peek in here let's see how we're doing oh man that is great there it is. <laughs> Things big. Like I said, don't don't make your uh, uh, meat uh, patty too large. Uh, even if you make a couple quarter pounders there, uh, it's going to be a half pound burger. So all the ingredients are cooked inside. Uh, you, you can even add the steak sauce and put that inside as well. But we have got the chopped onion. We have the uh, cheese that's been cut and uh, mushrooms if you wanted to add it and everything are all on the inside so you don't have a big mess uh, that you're going to put on the outside and man this is just great very little grease came off of this also because there's not much fat in the meat that I bought okay alrighty here we go alright we got the burger cooking let me get a roll not a couple of old pieces of bread let's get a hamburger roll for this alrighty and also I prepared a plate already a real plate with chips on it alright let's make it make it look nice here you know you gotta impress somebody so alrighty so I'm gonna open up the roll alrighty no karate on this alrighty and we're gonna lay that burger right onto that roll and then again if you wanted to use your steak sauce uh, on the outside or whatever not necessarily ketchup but steak sauce this is always good you can just uh, put it right on the outside just use it sparingly and I like to use steak sauce uh, again in instead of ketchup alrighty so we're gonna put the top on it we've got some chips and everything and we are set to go with a great inside out hamburger look at that here you know there's there's not a lot of you know, see, not a lot of mess on it or anything like that. It's nice and dry because all of the ingredients are on the inside. And all right, this is Carrie Decker thanking you for your time this time. Until next time, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now. <music>